Have you ever seen a country actually sinking? Not flooding, not drowning, but physically sinking day by day, like the ground beneath it is giving up? Because right now, one of the world's most advanced nations, famous for its engineering miracles, is slipping downward faster than anyone expected. Houses are tilting, roads are cracking, pipes are snapping, and the horizon itself is slowly dropping. And here's the crazy part. The Netherlands isn't just losing a battle against rising seas. It's losing a battle against the land beneath its own feet. Today, we're uncovering the shocking truth behind why the Netherlands is sinking and what it means for the millions of people living there. This is not a warning for the future. This is happening right now. For most people, the Netherlands is a postcard paradise. Tulip fields, canals, windmills, charming villages. But beneath all that beauty lies one of the most urgent, accelerating environmental crises on the planet. A huge part of the country is already below sea level. But the real problem? The land itself is collapsing. And it's happening for reasons most people have never even heard of. Let's start with the natural forces dragging the Netherlands downward. Much of the country sits on thick layers of peat, soft, organic soil that was drained for centuries to make room for farming and cities. But when peat dries, it shrinks. And when it shrinks, the ground sinks. Some places are dropping by nearly two centimeters a year. That may not sound like much, but for a country this low, it's catastrophic. Then there's sediment compaction, the Netherlands is built on soft sediments left behind by ancient rivers and seas. Over time, these layers naturally compress under their own weight, and even more under the massive weight of modern infrastructure. And unlike parts of Scandinavia that are rising slowly after the last ice age, the Netherlands is in the exact zone that sinks as surrounding land rebounds upward. It's like the country is caught in a slow-motion geological trap. But nature alone isn't responsible. Humans have sped up the sinking dramatically. One major culprit is groundwater extraction. To supply drinking water and irrigation, water is pumped from underground layers. But when those layers lose water, they compress. And when they compress, the surface drops. Then there's Groningen, home to one of Europe's largest natural gas fields. Decades of gas extraction didn't just cause land to sink, it triggered earthquakes. Entire neighborhoods now deal with cracked walls, unstable foundations, and land that continues to settle unpredictably. And as the country grows, heavy cities, highways, and flood defenses press down on soft ground, adding even more weight to an already sinking landscape. The consequences are everywhere. Roads buckle, buildings tilt, underground pipes rupture, repairs cost billions. And the lower the land gets, the harder it becomes to keep out the sea. Even the world's most advanced dikes and pumps can only do so much when the land behind them keeps dropping. Agriculture suffers too. Salt water creeps into the soil. Traditional peat farmland becomes unstable. Drainage systems struggle to keep up. So what will the Netherlands do? This is where the story gets inspiring. The Dutch are masters of water, and instead of fighting it the old way, they're reinventing how to live with it. Floating homes, water plazas, adaptive neighborhoods that rise and fall with changing levels, new pumping technologies, massive flood barriers, restoring peatlands to stop further sinking, and the toughest conversations of all, where to adapt, where to reinforce, and where eventually to retreat. Because the truth is, some areas may not be defendable forever, but what's happening in the Netherlands isn't just a Dutch problem. It's a global warning. As climate change accelerates, coastal cities around the world will face the exact same challenges. And the solutions the Dutch are inventing today may be the blueprints the rest of the world needs tomorrow. So the real question is, can the Netherlands out-engineer nature one more time? Or is this the beginning of a slow, unstoppable retreat? Let me know what you think.